I'm with four star Jeremiah McClennan, man. Had a great debut so far, man. Three touchdowns in the first game, man. We just what was going out there in the field, man? It's like you was in a nice little groove, man. You had your things going, and uh, what was what was uh, going through your head out there? Just win, like the the main thing was just win. So I was just trying to do everything I could do to win for my team. Um, I was playing both ways too, just doing everything I uh, can do to win, so we can get a bit good seat yes, and win this tournament. That's it. Yes, sir. And I see a vast improvement from y'all from day one to day two, man. It seemed like y'all are just really fired and locked in. You, yes, um, Corey Sims, all you guys is locked and loaded. So just what's the difference between day one and day two? You think? I think we more locked in today. We had a we went back and had a, a talk. So like we came out and we was I think. Everybody understands we can't do this by ourselves. We gotta do this as a team. So I gotta, I gotta learn that too. As to, I need to lean on my brothers too. So that's, I think that's what's happening. The more we starting to trust each other more and get the chemistry good. Hundred percent. Then, like when you see that, and you see a double team, you see a high safety man. Do you just think about like cutting off your route? Like how do you, how do you kind of beat that? If you had to, to be say. honest, I just be trying to get my teammates open. Uh, like if it's a double team, I tell, I tell my coach, uh, Coach P, I tell him it's a double team. And he'll do, he'll switch the play or something, and then I'll do something to get my teammates open. I use me as a decoy or something like that. So, or either if if I'm getting the ball, then I just gotta see where safety is, see where the corner is, and then see or see where the linebacker is, and see how how their leverage is, and then base my right off of that. Got you, man. And then uh, what are you most uh, looking forward to this, uh, this upcoming season for Christian Brothers? Obviously, you guys are in Missouri. Yes, uh, what are you most uh, looking forward to? What are some things you want to accomplish first as a team and then just personally as well? Um, when our three P, we, we can do uh, first in CBC history when three P. We like the last two teams they went uh, two P, but we just with a two P and now we finna do a three P. So that's that's really the uh, the main goal right now. Just, gotcha. Tell me a little about your recruiting, man. Just uh, I see you got Ohio State, Oregon, hollering your trails. I see you wearing the Alabama hat as well. You're sporting Ohio State gloves and then the uh, sleeves as well. But just when, where did your recruiting start and just like what have stood out to you so far as far as your visits? Um, like well, Ohio State, I just like Coach Harline as a, as a coach. He just, it's Coach Harline, you can't really turn him down. That's, that's uh, wide receiver you. Sure. And Oregon, I just love the, I love the coaching staff up there. There's like family up there. And then LSU uh, and Mizzou, that's that's really like family too. LSU been my dream school for like as long as I can remember. And then sure. you got Mizzou down there. They just been they been everything. I've been there like twelve times. I, I visit all the time. That's the hometown hero. Who who do you really model your game after, man? I mean, I see different things part of your game that really stands out to me. But you got to say somebody in the league is it yeah. Justin Jefferson, somebody um, that you know. You said Ohio State's wide receiver. You is it you know. Um, Marvin Mayfield. Yeah, is it Marvin Harrison? Is it uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba? Who are some guys you just model your game out there? Uh, I try to watch, like, like right now I try to watch Marv or Mick, just to, uh, Marvin Mick because they're the best right now. Um, but I model my game after, I think, A.J. Brown or okay. J.J., uh, Justin Jefferson. Yes, sir. Okay. I, I'm trying to get my releases like his. Okay. So, yeah, so okay. them two. And if you had to say, last question, man, if you had to say right now, in your opinion, who's the best receiver in the game right now, NFL? Justin Jefferson is getting a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, praise with that, but who That's you think? I'm saying Justin Jefferson, but then you got to think about it. Tyreek Hill just because he running, he running like a 10-1, yeah. and they can stop on a dime and change direction, full speed. Like that's really hard to guard too. So it's like True. you would go either way. I go, I go. Justin Jefferson, just Jefferson. because he's just so shifty and loose. Then right. you got Tay Adams in there too. But I know. I don't know. You got Stephon Diggs. You yeah, got Chase too. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I go JJ as though right now. JJ.